Mononymous has recently hacked emails from the chief of logistics at CIPLA. It reveals that he has been orchestrating the sale of expired drugs to Latin American countries including Haiti, Peru, Colombia, Nicaragua, and Honduras at discount prices. Furthermore, it is clear that lower-level officials responsible for procurement were being bribed to purchase drugs which they knew to be expired. Expired Triune is known to have dangerous side effects and has been sold with a flagrant disregard to the human cost this will impose on the already vulnerable population of HIV patients. Just another public service announcement from your friendly neighborhood Mononymous. <laughs>
believe that having um, an organization within the WHO um, will help um, stop corruption in all developing countries, but also in developed countries, because corruption is uh, rampant. We would definitely have measures to punish, um, and we, def we would definitely have measures to regulate, first of all, and to have um, a punishment for those who uh, impinge on our regulations and our uh, uh, legislation. Merck was bribed, uh, be it MSF or the Chinese government, to conduct these trials in China. The FDA uh, required that these rules and regulations be abided by, and Merck clearly did not accommodate those rules. So you're denying any involvement of the FDA in I this? I am denying all the involvement of the FDA. I, I would like to retract my earlier statement regarding corrupt, er, corrupt Merck employees. Essentially, what ha they are corrupt. However, I was wrong. The FDA... Uh, does have a member on the review committee who was bribed by Merck and Frost, and we are not okay with this. The, the United States government was not aware of this. Uh, the majority of the FDA was not aware of this. However, disciplinary action will be taking place to ensure this doesn't happen. This is Katerina with CNN. JSK has sold anti-malarial drugs that were at their first trial phase to Uganda. They're now selling them to China. We learned this from Pfizer. Um, as a Pfizer representative, we are very, very keen on transparency. And so it is disappointing to our company to have to reveal that GSK is um, planning on carrying out clinical trials in China, taking over from Merck's trials. Uganda just admitted that they were bribed by GSK uh, in order to receive very dangerous anti-malarial anti uh, anti drugs. Uh, but uh, JSK has not issued a statement saying that they were at fault. Do you have any opinions about this issue? However, like, whatever did happen, or if GSK did bribe them, or if they did it and if someone else, I believe that we are here to try to move on from this type of corruption, which is happening a lot in our country. And that Given the current state of GSK and their antimalarial drugs in Uganda, Merck has opted to support Uganda by providing antimalarials instead of GSK. The Republic of Uganda uh, is very, very uh, pleased and, and happy that, that the market company is willing to work with, with us towards reducing corruption. And I, we would like to address the allegations that Oxfam has been supporting corrupt practices in Uganda. And we are also withdrawing our support from GSK. Transparency International, who have agreed to withdraw support from GSK, until they can clean up their actions. Uganda. However, Mark said that it is acceptable in certain situations to issue phase uh, one trial drugs. So they are in fact going to be doing the same thing. And the phase one trial drugs are very dangerous and they have caused sickness in 15% of the population uh, in Uganda who have taken these drugs. This is Nathan Gamble, Editor-in-Chief for The Economist. A nation can easily speak against corruption. Almost every country does so. Very few lead by example. The United States prides itself on being the leader of the free world. It forgets this is primarily due to military prowess and issuing the global currency. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. It's made clear that you were bribing the Chinese government. I did not. Or you, or you, were, you were bribing. I was bribed were by bribed. the Chinese government. That's corruption at its highest degree. Yeah, not on my part. It's on the part you of the Chinese government. You are accepting the bribe. There's two kinds. No, no, no. What is it? A dialect? I've drawn my people no, it's a, Let me just tell you exactly. Yeah. <laughs> If I could find it, it's a dialect or whatever form of corruption. There's the giver and the the one who the, the receiver, and you are the yeah, receiver. Yeah, the and the corrupter. I'm and, aware of that. So you, so, I oh, oh, my did you just acknowledge that you're the corrupted? No, I'm acknowledging an ideal that occurs in many situations around the world. I'm not a cur I'm not acknowledging it. This is, this is it specific to you. But as as the fraud is still a current problem in the U.S., is the U.S. in a position? to address other nations and, and assert that its policies are better than theirs, considering the current products the U.S. is dealing with. We are the most pow powerful nation in the world. Our policies are better than uh, developing nations and other nations worldwide. So in the event they need help from us, we do have a solidified plan in the form of Obamacare. So if other nations would like to follow in our footsteps or follow our lead, that's fantastic. We are more than happy to provide that insight. Do you think it's a fair accusation to expect the same out of the developing world's country and to insist upon that you're such a leader in the field? I think so. Nations must acknowledge the flaws in their systems and discuss how they are addressing them. 
Before proposing suggestions to other countries, the U.S. needs to remember, pride comes before fall. Do you not think it's a problem that a lot of the pharmaceutical companies have been themselves accused of corruption? Nobody is as, is as corrupt as GSK right now. And other pharmaceutical companies, I know I can trust a lot more. Furthermore, I'm How do you know this? Because they are at least working with Transparency International, amongst other NGOs, and have come out denouncing corruption. However, GSK has not. Earnestly need their support in, in, in helping us to uh, form a new regulatory commission. We absolutely should not have pharma funding or regulatory advisory committee on anti-corruption. Because pharmaceutical companies have their own interests at heart. We should trust rather the other countries, um, such as the EU, to help us you know, collaborate as sovereign nations and promote anti-corruption clauses without having private interests at uh, I have here with me Rebecca from Burundi. Now, um, you just came out of a caucus where we discussed the possibility of having pharma companies fund your drugs. What are your thoughts? Well, Burundi is very against pharma companies funding our anti-corruption uh, advisory committee as we believe that if one uh, pharmaceutical company is very corrupt, such as GSK, then many of them will be corrupt as well. Denmark feels that funding is an option for the future, but we can't confirm that until we see how their plans go. What's your definition of going well? Going well would be if there's no corruption, um, and by no corruption I mean that... I have here with me... Uh, a representative from American Co., which is a pharmaceutical company. Now, recently, Uganda t discussed the fact that they believe that GSK is the only corrupt pharma company and that, for this reason, they are only willing to work with other pharma companies. Do you think that GSK is corrupt, and do you think that their corruption could happen to you? As a pharmaceutical representative, it's not my role to pass judgment on another company. However, I believe that uh, corrupt practices is possible in any company. They should perhaps adapt standards to that of my uh, what to, are you to avoid doing? this, Merck has very strict standards which we abide by uh, oh, no. if GSK is found to be corrupt. I'm here with GlaxoSmithKline representative, and uh, GlaxoSmithKline, so some countries are saying that you're the only ph corrupt pharma company and this is why they don't want to partner with you when it comes to funding their drug initiatives. What do you say to this? I deny all allegations that GSK is corrupt. There's no proof. There's, we didn't pay bribes in Uganda. We're denying that happened at all. We are open to making partnerships in other countries. We're really excited with what we have going on in China and would like to hear proposals. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is Isabel Kim with South African Broadcasting Company. The main discussion in the European regional bloc was regarding the pharmaceutical supply chain. There was a question and answer session where Turkey, Luxembourg, and Belgium answered to some tough questions about their working paper. A lot of the answers depended on the responses of the big pharmaceutical companies and what their interests were. This, this reporter saw Merck, GSK, and Pfizer working closely together to make sure their interests are included in the clauses being voted on by the delegates. The drug companies are seeking partnerships with governments to supply their brand name drugs, but many countries, including Saudi Arabia, believe that education on drugs is the most important factor and that generic drugs should not be pushed aside for these brand names. Many delegates will likely vote how the pharmaceutical companies advise them to, in order to earn the seal of approval. However, wealthy countries such as Qatar and Saudi Arabia have the resources and knowledge to produce their own generic drugs for lower prices. Good afternoon. I'm Louise Chong, here with Al Jazeera, and I'm here with Gloria Cho from Pfizer. It seems as though the big three pharma companies have been making an alliance and really trying to push their interests onto the working papers. What are you looking for the delegates to include? Personally, as a representative from Pfizer, we are really looking for delegates to act upon a principle of honesty and ethics. We really want to push the topic of transparency. The company is not against generic drugs being used in these like less developed countries who can maybe not afford the brand name drugs. We're absolutely not um, against accessibility or generic drugs. What we do ask is that guidance is provided to those who are in charge of making uh, these products. And this is something that Pfizer is absolutely willing um, to be able to do.